How's it going guys? In this video we're going to be feeding wild scavengers free food. We had a freezer that broke down and we lost a lot of the wild meat that we had sitting in there. So we thought we may as well make use of it and give some of these little critters some free food. So yeah, there's a nice log that's fallen across the creek here. We've got a turkey there, we'll wire that on and then we'll put the trail camera on the other log. What I'm hoping will happen is because there's quite a big gap in the canopy here, some hawks are going to spot it on this log. They'll come down and they'll start tearing into it pretty quick, I, I think. And the odd bit's probably going to fall into the creek here and then the tuna will come up. A few bits of meat there too. Hopefully a hawk will come down and have a feed off that. Bit of bird on bird action. And then I've put a little bit of meat over there too, next to the trail camera. It's going to be interesting. So the first thing to come across the turkey wasn't a hawk or a kahu, it was this little guy, a black shag, so that was pretty cool. There's a big hunk of liver here that we left on the log and he just downed that whole thing in one, one sitting, so he just smashes that back forces it down his throat and then the funniest thing is he's just straight on to this turkey instantly. So yeah, a little bit unexpected, no, no hawks and no tuna, just the old black shag hogging all the food, so pretty hard case looking bird, the old shag, but yeah, he's keeping a close eye on us, look at him, he's up in that tree there. And we even came down at night time to see if there were any tuna in the creek feeding on the meat, but he was still there guarding it. Shags are really good fishing birds, so I don't think we're going to see any tuna or any kind of aquatic life around here now. Um, all, the, all the tuna in this creek are hiding under logs and hiding in places where the shag isn't going to see them because it would just nail them if it did see them. Just put a piece of possum in this beautiful clear creek here. There's some really big tuna living in this stretch of water so they should have a good feed on that. We're going to put a few different pieces of meat in this in this creek and also in some side streams as well so hopefully we can feed some tuna and also some freshwater crayfish some coda so yeah we're going to do that today and then we're going to come back after dark and see what's what's feeding on the meat all right so it got dark let's go have a look that's the first spot we left a uh, half a possum tied to that tower tree there and it's gone so that's already been taken by a tuna just have a quick look downstream and see if we can see where it ended up there's a small eel just here just shows how well they blend in though it's quite hard to pick them out until he moves there's some slow water here where we put a bit of meat for the coda there's a few of them already starting to eat it. Let's see, oh, they're getting scared off it now. See this fella here. Oh, there's one there. Trying to get a feed. Have a feed. 
Pretty cool looking little guy. But they're pretty skittery. They do get um, eaten by tuna quite a bit, these guys. So, um, and there's a few big ones running around. You've got to be pretty on to it to stay alive. You can see how relaxed they are at night time to be out in the open, especially in this shallow as creek, you know, it's only about oh maybe an inch or two of water. And they're just chilling, I guess because there's no shags hunting at night time. Or um yeah no no real threat. And same with the coda too I guess that's probably part of the reason that they come out at night. So the birds don't gobble them up. This guy is actually poking half out of the water. So one of the really cool things about tuna is that they can actually travel over land quite far. It's pretty crazy. We're actually above a big waterfall here. And yeah, there's heaps of tuna um, all the way up this little creek. So yeah, they, they can go over land, they can slither across roads. Yeah, they can go tons of places that trout can't get to. I just flicked this one here up out of the creek just to show you how quick it can get back to it. Um, yeah, it's crazy, man. Look at him go. We'll let him figure it out, he will. He's going in the right direction. There he goes, back to the turkey in the creek, and look at this guy, it's a kahu, or a hawk. So he turned up after quite a few days of the shag guarding the, guarding the turkey, and seems to have taken over now, we haven't seen the shag for quite a few days, and the, the kahu's just been ripping into the ripping into the turkey there. Beautiful looking bird. Really prolific scavengers on roads. They like to eat possums and anything that's been run over on the roads in New Zealand. So if you're gonna do something like this at home, obviously just make sure that you're only gonna be feeding the animals what they're naturally likely to encounter in the wild. This has all been wild meat that we've harvested from the same area that we've then fed it to the animals so it's stuff that they scavenge on naturally anyway and um, it's only good for them it's not going to be bad for them and of course you don't want to be feeding them constantly and creating some kind of reliance on you for food but yeah it goes without saying and every now and then it's just cool to give something a free feed and just observe some of the awesome wildlife that we have here awesome thanks heaps for watching